Hey guys, welcome back to Agrarian Skies, where as you can see behind me, I have made the framework, at least, for the Elden Portal. Okay. Now, we made, the terrace deal, we made the terrace deal last time, and I decided to uh, go ahead and split one of them up into nuggets, so I can make the, start making the parts at least. So, I accidentally crafted the Elden Gateway core here, it's just living wood and the nuggets. And in here I have the two pylons, terrestrial nug uh, nuggets, I have ender and mana pylons. So, I'm completely ignoring Triath right now because I want to get this one started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's watch this. This is actually a kind of cool thing. This, this portal. Oh, there we ah, go. Look at that. World calling. So yeah, and that drains a bunch of mana from the pools, but luckily, thanks to yeah, these no. end of flames here and the uh, dual mana spreader crossover system here. It's actually been do going all right with filling them up. So, I can start doing some Elven trade now. No, you got first wanna... trade is your book, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's right. Throw, I should, throw your I should book really first. trade my book. Here, take it. Give me nice things. Ooh. Elven guard. Greetings. We noticed that our portal was opening by a link from another world. That's rather shocking news indeed. We thank you very much for providing us with a repository of the knowledge from your world as to keep us up to date with what happened since we left it. It's been a god since then and it's good to see it's doing well. That's a really long sentence. Yeah. After some discussion well, with the High Council of Hell and God, we've decided to cooperate with you. You see, reading through your Lexica Botanica, Botania has shown us a good amount of resources from your world that we would be extremely keen on getting on hands on as they are non existent in our lands. I can't be I can't be asked listening to these elves anymore. Yep, bye, bye elves. Um, <laughs> bye Legos. <laughs> Such an annoying voice they have. Um, but yeah, basically, um, opening this portal uh, doesn't sadly allow for pl uh, player travel, but it does allow for the exchange of items and goods and some certain services. By the way, we'll be visiting in a month's time. Bye! <laughs> uh, so I've prepared a bit of stuff here that I actually want to throw into the elves so we can get some some of the good stuff back that they they do provide us with. Just a bit of basic stuff. Um, let's see. I also need to trade in some living wood, don't I? For some dream wood. Living wood. You need living wood. You need terra steel. No, I don't you need terra uh, steel. Let's, get, let's start uh, with some mana glass. Elf glass. Not terra steel. Uh, 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 mana uh, steel. The blue. Sh yeah, that. Yeah. Let's see, 15 aluminium ingots. Let's get some mana steel. pixie dust. Some mana diamonds, dragonstone. Can't see what's and happening because it's instantaneous. Well, I'm just standing on top of it. Um, yeah, with with your dreamwood logs sticking in the portal. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I did mention that the elves did offer certain services, didn't I? Yeah. So how do you close it then without breaking it? Um, you can just place a block inside it. Uh, oh. Okay. Like well, now that we've seen, yeah. Go ahead. No, I was just saying? checking if there's anything else, but there isn't really. Um, so these are the main resources of the Elden Realm, and so, so some of them are like way more interesting than others. Uh, one of the most interesting is the Dreamwood because it allows us Dreamwood and the uh, Elementum together allows us to um, make, make new an, imp an improved mana spreader. I'm going to take your thunder. I've been messing with this stuff on the other server. <laughs> these Elden Manus brothers here. Um, so yeah, I think these are at least twice as powerful. I think they may, they, may, they may be four times as powerful as the normal ones. They allow for longer distance travel and such. So, for instance, I, can, I think I can replace both of these with just one Elven. But for now, I'm actually quite happy with just having these here. Let's give these a bit more food to go okay, on. Okay. Um, now, the Elf now Glass... I'm 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 not quite done yet. The elf glass we can use to make these bottles, um which allows us to make six doses of any brew instead of four doses, so that's also an upgrade. Oh, uh, okay. Um the pixie dust is a uh, vital ingredient in many of the more advanced uh recipes, but it all they also require these Gaia pylons which allows us to summon the Gaia Guardian. Need to find out what the Great Fairy Ring does. Um, there's also a couple of really cool things. Kukon of Caprice. Spectral platform. Starfield generator, that's a cool one. 
Um, but uh, the the one st the one thing that was interested in right now is the spark augments, spark augment recessive, rune of earth and mana steel lingered. You because need an earth rune and a fire rune. Yeah, and, well, I for now I just need an earth rune, and the earth rune is the only one I don't have any more of. Gah. That's not that hard. All right, no, it isn't. Making... But uh, that's I guess that's the segue over to you, Trev. Yep. While you're making that, I was very busy for the longest while making the worst recipes in the world. Ugh, okay, so culinary generator, 64 time. Here's 64 culinary generators. That's a lot of iron. <laughs> That's what, seven stacks, eight stacks of iron, something like that? Uh, yeah, and I've been trying just to fill up one, a stores just a three. wee bit, and I haven't really Yeah, it's eight, much. eight stacks of iron. There we go. 64 of that. And then over here... I made uh you make this QED thing and you need these transfer nodes and you take these transfer nodes and you got to make a bedrockium ingot which is pretty much just the portal to the deep dark essentially this is the recipe for a bedrockium ingot a diamond block four quadruple compressed cobblestone and four triple this took forever okay <laughs> mom a triple uh, I've heard that joke so many times in the last week, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Because you keep saying triple. Here's a bedrock you may get. The worst ingot in the world, and I'm suddenly very heavy because of it. <laughs> there we go. That goes that, and this thing's going to work its magic and make uh, this thing, the transfer node hyper energy. Now. That's going to take forever. Yes, it is. So we have to do this, and I need might might be short on some energy nodes. Crap! <laughs> <laughs> darn it! I'm always short oh, on something. Darn it! I'm always short on something. All right. Yeah, you need to make it like you just need eight of those. I need seven more energy nodes. Yeah, but can't you? Uh, you have the uh, the little uh, upgrades thingies, don't you? I have some of them. I thought I had. I thought I made these. Did I not make enough? The energy transfer node. Transfer yeah. node energy. Well, the breath first surge upgrade. That's the one you want, isn't it? The yeah, breath first surge upgrade. We have a bunch of the. Uh, Could have sworn I made these somewhere. Yeah, they are somewhere. Look at the chest. There's one the breath reaction. first. Upgrade here and five speed upgrades, but I'm thought I made enough of these. Uh, there we go. Things. So if I put that on there and send all the mana from my generation into this pool, it'll spread out evenly across all of these, and thus I'll I won't have to run around moving mana spreaders or anything else. Like it'll just fill up the rest. That's a really 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 useful thing. Um, I could have done a similar system with a mana uh, spread on a turntable. Or there is actually another thing in here. I think it's called the mana distributor, yeah. Um, so if you put mana pools on the four sides of that and then send the mana to the distributor, it's the, instead it'll distribute to the four pools. But this way I can distribute to as many as I want. And right now, that number is 12. No, it's not. It's 15. It's 12. 15. I do have 15 pools, but it's only 12 I want to distribute to. Damn. <laughs> you gotta make this stuff. I hate this recipe. This is the worst thing in the world ever. <laughs> is it that bad? Yes. Just the standing here tripping, waiting annoying. on the... Oh, it finished your hyper energy? Yeah, but I still gotta make... I gotta make uh, seven. Yeah, like, you need to get no. the breath first. So there's uh, some depth No, I need here. to make... Take these. That should help you. Need to make eight. Need to make eight of these, and I need that means I need four more of these speed upgrades. There you go. I'll take those as well. Uh, like that, that's 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 all the stuff that I know that we have. Like I, I gave you a bunch of uh, upgrades. Yeah. I don't know if you I saw. I need four more of those speed upgrades. Well, that's nearly you're you're nearly home then. Yeah. I need redstone blocks. 
I think, are we out of redstone again? No, I think we did harvest some, didn't we? We got 24 blocks here. I'm right behind you. Hi. Hi. 24 blocks. 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 Blocks! I never want to see an extra utilities generator again after this. <laughs> Ever. I'm actually wondering, uh, did, was there any quest at all to do with uh, what I've just done with the elves? What you've just done to the elves? What, what? I've just done with the elves. Or, um, uh, apparently, you've completed you completed the uh, yeah the the eight X culinary generator. Yeah, I made one. <laughs> yeah, but the uh, so that gives us a an, a potions generator eight X as well. Like that's a pretty cool thing. Um, the other potions generator we have, you know, has. No, oh, I just level up my pickaxe by breaking a generator. Interesting. Interesting. Um, that's not the bright book. Um, but I've also uh, like I I done a, bu a bunch of other quests in the storage wars because that like if we are to get to the um, applied logistics quest, I think the storage wars is the way to go. But yeah, I did do the um, more power quest in uh, Botania here, and uh, apparently making another man spreader gives me t three terra steel ingots as a single reward. So the only one left, and here's the ore kit, and that's that takes a while to make. Lots of subcomponents for that. But we do have a bunch of quests to hand in in the storage wars section. I need to make two more transfer notes. So I'm going to go through that. Thermal more storage. I made a ca cache, which is basically a barrel, just uh, much more overpowered, and I'm wondering why we haven't been using these so far. They're really good. Um, a strong box. Slightly, it's a chest you can break and pick up. Item router for router reborn. I haven't actually figured out how these work, but um, I made it. It's just a crafting recipe for that. Then we have... Cache is that silver looking thing, isn't it? Yeah. We have armor storage, which um, I completed and then gave me a potion shelf I can put over a potions generator here, I guess. Um, yeah. Block extension. Block, block extenders for the, um, I think this is for refined relocation. Um, and then some upgrades for refined relocation as well. And that brings us to the final, qu or a bunch more advanced quests here. Now, that one, control your draws, unlocks two quests elsewhere, and this one unlocks one quest elsewhere. So there are some of these quests that uh, continue chains. And I feel like um, one of them might be the one that leads us into applied energistics. I need more redstone, Jerry. More? Oh wait, no, no, wait. never mind. I'm good. More than the twenty-four <laughs> blocks? No, I'm good. Well, I have four blocks left over, but uh, I need to make things. I was about to say you're a hungry guy, hungry guy, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, well, use a butt ton of iron for this end. A butt ton. Oh uh, my god. Ridiculous recipe. <laughs> <laughs> you sound so happy about it. It makes me hate Minecraft suddenly. And that's a really hard thing to do. When you have to compress cobblestone. Yeah, I could imagine. Uh... Well, so far the Botania setup here is working nicely. Uh, we don't have large reserves of mana to make a bunch of terra steel, but we do have a bid which I might actually be tempted to uh, use to upgrade my bands. My bands of mana. What? The, the band of mana and the band of uh, aura that we have. That, that, that might be be worth doing just to get, you know, a bit more passive mana generation. Spark Tinkerer. Warp Lens. Like, I, think, I think there's a bunch of these stuff that I haven't actually, like, experienced before. I think this uh, mod package is a new version of Botania that I've tried. So we got All the flu right. flugel tiara there for flying. Corporeus box. We can't get those yet. We can't get to the end, just yet. Star caller. Summon a falling star headed toward. What? A star what? caller. That's an interesting sort. Um, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna... seeing a bunch of stuff here that isn't that like. This is not actually anything I've seen before. Uh, I'm gonna claim this power conversion thing that you did for the mana distributor. 
Oh yeah, Man of Flocksfield. I haven't actually demonstrated that. Um, and then... Did you bang a drum or...? I did not bang a drum. Oh. That was people slamming doors in the house. Okay. <laughs> well, I made this Man of Flocks field here. It's a very simple recipe and I'm just going to quickly show it over here. Basically, um, it's a way, although not very efficient way, of uh, converting mana into rest on flocks. And as you can see, when I look here, like the distance to where I put it here is like just two blocks further than this mana spread. I can actually shoot without loss. So that's a good reason to put another mana spread in this place. Nether? Let me just quickly... What? Or you mean Elven? Uh, didn't I say Elven? You said Nether. Did I? I think I said Elven. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure you said Nether. I'm fairly certain I didn't And if you didn't, that. I will edit it so that you did. So that's a good reason to put another mana spread in this place. Another mana spread in this place. Another mana spread in this place. There you go, <laughs> this one can shoot further. And it also shoots pink instead. Yay. Is there any way to make this... Yeah, this mana flash field is now generating power, which is going into the harvester here. But the harvester, because the redstone here is not grown up in front of it, there's not much point to generating power here. So I'm going to redirect this again. Back over to that pool. Now, if we did have any any other sort of like little fa far off machine that just needed a, a tiny bit of power, you know, we could shoot some mana over there. Purple now. Beautiful. <laughs> but how do you know when? Uh, quick question, because I know uh, some of these things, like the the beam decays. Yeah. Uh, how do you know? Basically, when you hold out your wand to the forest, you can see where the beams are going but you can also see a, li a little point uh, that's marked along that path and that that point is when the thing will start losing mana okay so you want to keep any connection between two ma uh, like mana send and mana recipients uh, shorter than that length now for a Gaia mana spreader that distance is very far um, you know like it's maybe two chunks across 32 blocks or something like that but uh, for the basic ones it's only 16 blocks and then the Elven one somewhere in between, I think. Yeah. Go, go, go do that at the Elven portal instead. <laughs> They're better at. They're better at it anyway. <laughs> I like the feel of magic. <laughs> I'm still waiting on this slow, wacky Ender device. Uh, I need four more. I'm of wondering things. if, uh, like, if if we made one of the, the lunium flowers here, if they, like, if there's any, actually any dungeon loot defined on on a grand skies. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually. Like that, that could that be interesting. Be... Yeah, because there's all these mods. I'm assuming there would be a default one. There's just nothing from the spawn. And there is the deep dark. So if the deep dark is an actual thing, there would be dungeon loot. Yeah. But uh, rune of pride <laughs> and rune of greed is what I need to make the ore kit. And the rune, which is, yeah, those runes are a bit more advanced. Um, like the rune of greed, as you can see here, requires a rune of water, a rune of spring, and two mana diamonds. The rune of spring, three saplings, rune of fire, Let water, and wheat. That's not too bad, actually. Orchid. So I need. It's done. Do I have a rest? Do I have a rest on root ready? No, I don't. All right, culinary, eight culinary, and the Make transfer hypernode. Culinary generator 64. Yes. It's done. Worst recipe in the world is done. How's that actually look? It's funky. It's really bright. Alright. Um, veggie stir fry. It looks horrible. Whoa! <laughs> 2816. Oh, that's so. That's, uh, let's see. Just, you know, three bits of. Oh. Let's try your pump. Let's try this. 512 for like yeah. two seconds. That's a very quick way to generate power. Like it, it does exactly what it says in the tin, you know. Well, like it contains lots of sugar and six... carbs. Burns carbs. Yeah. But also, like it, it just burns it so much faster than. Mm. Uh, so you can get all the all the energy out of your food very why quickly. Why can't I clean this? Oh. Uh, I can't claim the potion much. of regeneration. Can you try claiming it? For the top tier guardian. Uh, I can't even claim it either. 
Uh oh. Let me. Maybe I have to have it in my inventory. Let's try. No. It. I think you just need 64 empty slots in your inventory, Trav. Or uh, slots. 16, yeah. yeah. I don't think they stack. Damn. So find a chest, empty inventory, and. Uh, uh, potions. Need to. I want to make this orchid now. We're running late. Uh, We're running. Gray, gray, light gray, light gray. Damn uh, it. Let's see what missed. I need a light gray and a gray mana petal. That's all the mana petals I need. From what I could tell. Let's see, what else? Uh, green, yellow, light blue, and red. Light blue, oh, that's, green, that's the cash. yellow, There we go. Red. <laughs> so these potions, um, what should I do with these potions? Should we save the potions regeneration or just throw them in the potion generator? Because uh, you can no kind of reason. mix better with, we can make good, better with Potania. Yeah, we can make right. better potions for our own consumption. So just burn them. They're regeneration two. Yeah, like just put put one in at a time, I guess. Like just leave them over there. Put them on a potion shelf or something. It makes twelve hundred and eighty RF over five seconds, and then gives you a bottle of water back. Twelve hundred eighty. That's not a lot. No, but this is also a just a eight Are time. You... Well, hold on. Like, when you open up the potions generator and then mouse over the potions, see how how much does it say it generates in total? Uh, 64,000. Really? At 80 RF attack, yeah. Only 64,000? I think it's, it uh, but I think the true value is actually double that for some reason. Anyway, Traff, look, I have an orchid. Orchid! 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 Let me put this so, thing back for it. Um, we need to gen uh, get, I'm just gonna get a stack of stone or something. Uh, because the way that this works is that it, it needs stone. So if I put this like over here, that should be far enough away that it won't drain everything we have. And I bind it to like that mana pool. Well, that was a nasty sound. What? Me? No, the uh, orchid here. Where is it? Oh. Oh no! Apparently, like it, um, it, uh, whenever you uh, like it generates, it makes a noise, and it played that noise a couple of oh, times. That noise, yeah. But it didn't really have any uh. stone around it to generate it in, so I think it wasted a bit of mana. Okay, this is significantly uh, faster than um, than what I s we saw in the other pack. Plus, it's a way to, you know, get the actual ores. Yeah. Is this the range that it can do? Just around No, it? no, it, it? it's a it's a longer range, but it's just like... I didn't want to ruin too much of my grass, you know? <laughs> yeah. You can always put it on the black path there. But, but yeah. yeah, basically any mana going into this pool over here and will now go into the orchid to uh, generate stuff around it. Cool. So, yeah, that's the orchid. So, Yay. ores, unlimited power, and, uh, yeah, other stuff. What are we going to do next time? Fight Butterflutter? Or make potions and then fight Butterflutter? Uh, I well, I do have a one potion of absorption, uh, which at least will allow me to fight on. Uh, but okay. I, don't know, I don't know if we should try and make another one. We'll need another golden apple, but uh, oh, that should easy. be possible. We have plenty of that. Yeah. So, so yeah, um, maybe next time, fight Butterflutter. Alright. Anyway, I hope you, hope you guys enjoyed and we're finally getting into some of the more advanced stuff and we'll see you guys next time. Water bottles! Woo! Bye! Bye!